Alright everybody, welcome to a new series of The Long Dark. This is a game solely about survival. And survival in the aspect that you have... You start with basically nothing, which is usually how survival games work. But, you don't... You, you don't fight anything. You're not... At least, it's not the main aspect of anything. And it's... The game is basically you fighting against nature and I've been I've been watching a little bit of gameplay of this game and it looks really really fun and kind of difficult but in the difficult in the way that if you're not smart about things you will fail and um, this game kinda takes realism into real kind of problems and gives you real realistic problems to deal with like look at this Every time you spawn, you spawn in a different kind of weather, um, I guess. And I've, I've spawned in about three times now just to see what happens. And you spawn randomly on a map. And um, the map is not randomly generated, as you can see, because we could, we were able to choose what map we uh, landed on. Or, yeah, what map we play on. So right now, let's take a look. This game is really just extremely realistic let's take a look at our equipment we don't have much mostly just um, um, stuff like clothes bandages I don't think we start with any food which is really bad actually um, we start with a flare bedroll which allows us to um, sleep anywhere we want kind of in a way now it feels like negative six degrees Celsius outside, and that is freaking cold as hell. And we're burning about 161 calories an hour, which is also not good. Um, so this game kind of makes you explore and try to find things that you can use to help you survive. And, you know, an extra day or so. You, you know, it's not about the long term... Oh, how much, how much gear, how many weapons, and how much ammo I can get for my weapons to shoot other players. And this game actually isn't multiplayer. So it shows you that the aspect of the game isn't about social, or like, it isn't about surviving with other players. But it's about surviving with yourself. And, um, surviving with yourself and against nature. Just you against nature. Animals loss of food, loss of water, and I think that's really cool, because I think there needs to be games like this, and the fact that, like, Daisy is mostly PvP-oriented at the moment. Oh, hello. So it seems we've gotten to, like, a... This is... It's really creepy looking outside. I feel like this is a horror game, but I know it's not. Okay, we got something over here. I hear wolves. That's not good. Unnamed pond, huh? So there are wolves in the game. There are there are there is wildlife, but there's only like two kinds of it. There's I don't think there's bears or anything. Okay, we've got a bandage here. Take, and we got some food here, which is good, and a newsprint roll. And what we can do with these newsprint rolls is we can actually um, make or. I thought maybe not. I don't know. Uh, let's see. There is hmm. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh. Log discovered on main pond, and there isn't a map yet, so it really makes you like have to find a place and settle down in it and try kind of learn, the, you know, what's in the map. Oh, there's a dead animal over here. Hmm. Interesting. Ravaged deer carcass, yeah. We don't have a knife or anything that we can cut uh, cut out meat from it. So there's really no reason to try. And I think it's safe to walk over this pond here. I'm pretty sure anyways. Now I don't know how big the map is. Actually. And uh, I don't really want to know because I think it kind of adds to the... Oh, there's a deer over there. It kind of adds to the, you know, lost feeling you get when you first spawn in. 
And there's a lot of realism added to this game. Like, you have calories. Like, right here, you have your calories. Your calories being consumed per hour. You've really got to manage your character and how much stuff he uses. And, and how much uh, calories he uses, how much he drinks. It's got the things for cold and hunger, fatigue and thirst. Um, obviously, you should know what all those things mean. Fatigue being how tired you are and how much you need to sleep. So right now, we're in a bit of a weird kind of weather, and it's kind of off-putting. Oh, hello. There's a house over here. I don't think I've ever seen this part of the map. Hmm. Seems like there's something over here. Might be like a corpse or something? Yeah, it's a corpse. Two corpses, oh. I've never actually seen this part of the map before. Hello. Energy bar? Yes, we can use that. Hey, the weather changed. So now we can see very far. Actually, it looks like it's getting really dark. What time is it? Does it not tell? Oh, it's 6.05 p.m. So yeah, it is actually getting dark. Hmm. So let's head in here. And see what we can find. Hello, corpse. It's got a uh, pill bottle there right next to it as well. We here? Cotton long underwear, that's good. It's in 42% condition. Oh, awesome. That's very good. We got this, painkillers, we'll definitely take those. Now let's look at what we just got. We got a thin wool sweater, we actually have, we already have a wool sweater. Which is actually better than what we have currently have. But, let's see. Yeah. Everything that we just got is basically what we have on now is better than what we just found. So, we have beds here that we can sleep in. And it's actually... This might be making um, our cold go down, which I hope is the case. That'll come in handy. Candy bar is really good. Another candy bar. And the thing with the can, the can that we got of... Um, what was it? What did we pork and the pork and beads can that we got? Oh, you can smash it. Oh, that's cool. Um, anyways, the problem with those are is that you can, I guess, you know, I guess that it is true that you can, you know, get the food out. Oh, ooh, that's no good. This anymore. Military grade MRE gives you, I think, a thousand calories, which is actually really awesome. And I think that's all. That, oh no, okay. I think that's all that's in here, so let's let's head back out. And um doesn't seem like that place had a had a um area to make a fire in. Oh man, you can't even go in there. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. So you know what we might end up doing for now is uh Hanging out for the night here, um, and because that's because it is or almost seven. And it's about to be nighttime, so I think for now we are probably going to sleep. And do we have water? I'm wondering. We have energy bars, yeah. Toke, and I think knit wool. Okay, that's a cap. Um. Hmm. We don't have water, I don't think. Hmm. So we have five painkillers, which is actually really good. We can use that. I take it that this bed is going to be pretty good. Oh, wow. It takes a lot to sleep. So I think we're going to sleep for five hours real quick. So yeah, let's do that. Hopefully this doesn't kill us from like dying of hunger or thirst. I don't think it should since we have plenty of calories. There we go. So we're awake. And uh, <laughs> that's not amazing. Oh. Okay, so our cold and fatigue actually are near gone. Man, it sounds really creepy out there. Um, I just turned my my stuff up. So we're gonna wanna take down our hunger real quick. 
by eating like a like energy bar for now. How much calories does that give? Okay, we're going to eat a candy bar instead. And this should bring down our hunger. Uh, a little bit, I guess. Okay. Now, I know I can't see anything either, so don't don't be, you know, weirded out. But I can't see anything either. So, what time is it? It's at about 11 p. Oh, wow. It's about 12 a.m. now. So, let's sleep for four more hours. Oh, man. This is going to suck. I hope I'm not sleeping too long. I really do. Okay. Oh. Oh, we have. Okay. So it's still dark. We're about to die from thirst. Wow. This sucks. Um. Start fire. Yeah. You can't. And there wasn't a place to make a f or put a fire. So we're going to actually have to sleep for two more hours, hopefully. That'll be okay. Hopefully by 5.30 a.m. or whatever, it's going to be 5, okay, 6 a.m. Okay, it's light outside. We need to, yes, we are dehydrated, definitely. We need to get out here and leave because we are going to die. Okay, it's actually really bad outside. That sucks. So I think we came from that way. We're going to head this way. Oh, man. It's bad outside, but we cannot, we literally cannot not go outside right now because we really need to find something um, to use. How many calories do we have? Well, that'll do. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now when you do when you run, you do burn more calories and I think you burn more calories when you're going uphill as well. Which is actually really I th I like that. That's really realistic. But really dangerous. So I don't think we want to go up there. You have to kind of have a good sense of, oh. You know, we can't go up there, can we at all? Okay. We might be able to actually have to see. And I really like the footprints, man. That's really cool. I need to find something to drink. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. Okay. Now, I'm not going to have any idea how long this episode's going to be because I didn't set a timer. Like always. Okay, so we made it up that hill. Now we're going to go down it. And if it wasn't storming hella outside, yeah, we're going to get really cold here really quick. And we are getting a little bit hungry as well. Burning a lot of calories per hour right now. That's not good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's free We're freezing now. Is that something over there? I don't think so. I'm hoping that running makes you warmer. Clear cut. Because if it, if it does, that'd be amazing. If we can find... Oh. That's a place, it looks like. Or not. There's something up here. We need to get to it quick. So we are not going to survive very long if we don't. I think I actually know where this is. In. I, I don't know. I don't know. I might not know completely, but. We need to hurry up because we are going to freeze. And the condition, the percent of condition we're at at the bottom is actually kind of our health. And it goes down whether you're. Um, cold, hungry, thirsty, or fatigued. I'm actually not sure if being fatigued brings it down or not, but that is basically your health. There's no bar, but uh, it's basically your health bar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know what place this is. It's like a, 
a tower with a building at the top of it, which is actually going to help us out a lot, because I think it has decent stuff in it. I've watched about 10 episodes of this game, 10 uh, episodes of a Let's Play of this game, and it's actually, it looks really, really promising, depending on what they decide to go, go and do with it from here. So we need to head up here quick. I'm waiting to eat anything until we get out of this area, or get out of the cold. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay. Forestry lookout, here we go, here we go. We found this place. It's really, really good. It's actually colder up here than it was down there, which is not good. But, it's going to be warmer in the house, or in the building. So we need to get up here. And, uh, come in here. Oh, you know what? It's actually not a building itself, so... Jeez. Hopefully this... Oh, there's... Oh, yes. This is good. This is very good. Pork and beans. I'll take that. Can opener. That's what we really want. Newsprint. Cedar firewood. I guess that doesn't turn on. We got a wood stove here, which is actually... Ooh. Rifle ammunition. That is going to help a lot. Oh. Okay. Wood matches, awesome. Scrap metal, ooh. That's interesting. And that's it from that. Check this. Energy bar. Candy bar, I'm not sure why those things are in a... thing like that, but... in a first aid kit, but... I guess it doesn't really matter. As long as it's, you know, good. So we're still really, really cold. And we want to start a fire now, because we need to warm up. Chance of success. Okay, that's 100%. We don't need 100%. We only have one thing of firewood. And I'm thinking... I'm still freezing, though. I really need to bring this down. We might have to do it. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's do it. I really hope this works, because if it doesn't, it's going to suck. No! Dang it. Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. Really hope it... Really? It's got a 75% success. It has to work. Please, please, please. Come on, come on. I need this so bad. Yeah. Okay. Need to get close to this. And warm the hell up. Get really close to it. I'm not sure if being close to it actually helps, but... We need to eat something. So let's do that right now. Let's, um, eat these energy bars. There we go. And we're still really thirsty. You know what? What? Excuse me. Is that a second pry bar? Really? Okay. That's really good. Okay, that's bringing our cold down a lot. Which is really good. We are dehydrated, so... Let's see. Um... Okay, we need to melt this snow. Okay. So... Oh, wow. Our cold is down a lot now. So that's actually really good. We got a lot of water now, at least a good enough amount. We need to drink some of this now. Or else we could possibly die. Okay, that bring our thirst down all the way. It's really good. Oh, it's unsafe water. That's not good. 
Okay, there goes the weather. Awesome. The weather is safe now. It's a really beautiful game, man. And I did, forgot to mention that this was actually made in the Unity engine. Which, obviously, is really surprising considering how the game looks. It's actually a really, really good looking game. What time is it? It's 8.41 a.m. We have plenty of time to go and do stuff. So let's go and do stuff. Okay. Alright. Oh, there's a corpse over there that we can check out as well. I didn't have time to check out around the place. We actually are really low on stuff. So let's eat this. We have a pretty decent amount on our can opener, which is good. And, uh, okay. Let's check this guy. What have we here? Okay, a flare. That's good. In, in a way, if we can't afford a fire or something. Oh, man. This game, man, it's really beautiful. Okay, I think I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Um, don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Like the video if you want this to replace Darkwood. And I think that's, this is what is going to be replacing Darkwood as of now. And um, so, yeah, this is going to be replacing Darkwood. So don't forget to tell me if you enjoyed the game. And I actually need to sleep for like an hour to uh, to um, save the game. I think that's how it is. So we'll sleep for an hour, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Dark... Or, pff, oh, <laughs> not Darkwood. It's actually not Darkwood anymore. It's the Long Dark. It's still got dark in it, though, so that's going to throw me off a little bit. So, tell me what you guys think down below. Comment uh, what you think about the new series, and tell me if you want it to replace... Darkwood, if you think it's going to be a good game to replace it. And uh, obviously, Darkwood will be back eventually, whenever the new update comes out. And if it's not a great update, it won't come back then. It'll come out whenever there's enough new stuff and enough new mechanics and stuff like that to uh, warrant a new series on it. Um, Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode of, Long, of The Long Dark. Later.